Hi, my name is Liza Whitaker, and I am the wholesale and retail trainer here at Metropolis Coffee. Um, we're going to go into the latte art quality. Um, right now, we're going to make a latte and then see how one can pour latte art on top of it. So what I'm going to do is pull my shots, um, steam my milk at the same time that I'm pulling the shots, and then after, we will do a quick how-to on the latte art. Um, first, I'm always going to prep my cup with some hot water, about two ounces, just not to shock the espresso. Um, I'm also going to prepare my cold milk in my pitcher. And now I'm going to start pulling my shots, knocking out the spent puck. Carefully. Dosing, distributing, and then finally tamping with that no pressure polish. I'm going to start my espresso as I steam my milk. Making sure to always wipe off that steam wand and purge it after. And now that I have finished both, it's about time to do some latte art. All right. Now we're going to pour some latte art. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first fill up the cup about halfway. If any white appears, I'm going to go ahead and trace right over it to maintain good contrast. Then it's, when it's about halfway, I'm going to go ahead and push for it, almost sloughing off that first little layer of foam, drawing it back, and then carefully drawing a very thin line through. And that's how you do a rosetta. The wiggle motion is very slight. You don't actually move your arm. You move your wrist. Um, and you just carefully draw it back as you go through. All right. And now we are going to pour a heart. Pretty much the same concept as a rosetta, except you're going to hold the wiggle in place. So I am making sure that any white that comes up, I am pouring over with a thin stream, filling the cup about halfway for, full. Pushing forward, just allowing it to settle, and then drawing through at the very end. And that's how to do a heart. All right, and now we are going to pour a wave heart. And how we do this is just fill it up again, as we normally do, halfway full. And then I'm actually going to start spinning the espresso around, gently doing a wave back and forth, and then finish it with a heart. So here I'm going to force it around, bring it to the center, and then doing a little heart. And that is how you do a wave heart. All right, and now we are going to pour a tulip. Basic idea is that you are layering the blooms that you create by pushing forward. So again, just kind of starting out that same way, filling up the cup halfway full, thin stream not breaking the crust. Pushing forward, there's the first layer, second layer, and third layer. And that's how you pour a tulip. didn't work out quite as well as it normally does. It's been a while. It says it there, though. Got the impression.